Hello everyone, I am Sai Chitanya. Welcome back to my channel Sai Tech Guru. In this video, I will be talking about the top 5 uh, disadvantages of the Realme X7 Pro device. As you can say, friends, this is a Realme X7 Pro smartphone. And in this video, I will try to discuss about the top 5 disadvantages. And few of the disadvantages can be the major uh, disadvantage. And few of them are just my opinion about this uh, Realme X7 Pro after using for more than uh, 3 months. So as you can say, friends, this is a Dimensity 1000 Plus processor. You can see the Realme X7 Pro as well exactly. And uh, do check the links and description friends for the playlist of the Realme X1 Pro. I did already uploaded more than 150 videos on this uh, Realme X1 Pro alone. So make sure to check those videos in case if you are planning to buy the smartphone as well. And regarding the launch details and price details, so make sure to check the recently uploaded video. So we'll get to know more details. And uh, let's get started with this uh, top 5 disadvantages of this uh, Realme X7 Pro device. The first uh, major disadvantage is that uh, lack of having the 3.5 mm jack so there is no 3.5 mm jack friends so they did remove the 3.5 mm jack but they will try to include the uh, type c to 3.5 mm jack uh, adapter in the box so uh, this is the 3.5 mm jack uh, they will try to include adapter as well in the box so uh, finally the realme decided to uh, take it off the 3.5 mm jack and uh, this can be a quite a disadvantage for a few of the users who got used to this uh, it, uh, 3.5 mm jack earphone so which is present in the previous model in the realme x2 pro but in the x7 pro you won't be able to see this kind of uh, port so that is a one a major disadvantage so next uh, disadvantage is that so this is regarding the read and write uh, speeds which is called the ufs storage uh, read and write speeds the realme x1 pro has got the ufs uh, 2.1 storage uh, speed speed uh, on this mobile phone as you can see ufs 2.1 so which uh, clear, clearly says the read and write speeds in the realme x1 pro it's gonna be a little bit kind of slow but uh, this is not a uh, final confirmed so maybe in the next uh, releasing version in india maybe the phone might be able to come with a ufs 3.0 or 3.1 but if the phone stays with the ufs 2.1 then this can be another uh, serious disadvantage uh, in the realme x1 pro so there is a huge difference between the 2.1 versus 3.1 so i did have the 3.1 uh, uh, phone here though which is a oneplus 80 i did a video on that one as well friends so make sure to check those uh, videos which are uploaded you might be able to see the difference between the ufs 2.1 versus UFS R3.1. So that is the second uh, major disadvantage which I felt uh, in this Realme X1 Pro. And third is that uh, regarding the design of the phone. So the, the major problem is the backside. So you can see uh, friends, uh, the backside is a small logo, it's fine. The Realme logo is fine, but uh, the big logo here, day to leap, which is not uh, so much of annoying for me, really friends, I don't like at all uh, companies displaying the huge uh, their brand on this backside so the realme is kind of accepted in the small portion but this big uh, words which i really don't like so personally i always uh, use the phones without case for, but but with this realme x1 pro I, I need to use the case just to cover this kind of words so which are displayed always outside so particularly i don't like this kind of uh, naming on the backside as well so previous models are uh, like the Realme X device. So here is the Realme X, which has got the only one small logo in the middle, as you can see, which looks clearly good. But this kind of having big uh, text on the back side, which is not even uh, that attractive as well. So in my opinion, so make sure to comment below, friends, what are your thoughts as well. And next uh, is that regarding the not having uh, expandable storage. So nowadays we are seeing this is uh, quite common in the not having expandable storage, but I thought of including in the disadvantage as well. The top uh, two can be the major disadvantage. And the third one, this text can be the disadvantage for few users and for some other users. And even the SD card as well. So lack of, lack of having the not expandable memory card can be another problem for a few of the users and even there is no LED notification light so usually the redmi phones they will be including the LED notification light on the top so even in the mid-range segment to the premium end segments the mi and redmi they will have the notification but the realme still they did not decide to use a notification light i'm not sure what's uh, happening so at least they should have included some kind of notification light as i said these are the problems can be the very minor for a few user users and it, it can be major for the few uh, users users as well so uh, next is that uh, software as well the software of the realme is kind of uh, really slow in terms of getting the android updates so right now my phone is running about android 10 so meanwhile i did receive the android 11 update in the oneplace uh, phones so um, you need to remember even that thing in mind so if you're planning to use the mobile phones for the next uh, three to four years the software updates uh, play a crucial role in terms of the improving the performance and increasing the battery 
after certain age so uh, make sure to uh, buy the smartphones which are having the very good uh, bad stable uh, software updates and regular software updates like the oneplace uh, phones so these are the a uh, few disadvantages which i did find in this uh, realme x1 pro and regarding the camera even that can be also another disadvantage as well the camera here in the realme x1 pro is only the 64 megapixel so nowadays we are seeing the mobile phones with the 108 megapixel still still the realme phones are at only 64 megapixel even if you compare to the previous version with the realme x2 pro there is not much difference in terms of the camera so there is not much improvement friends in terms of the camera so that can be another uh, disadvantage as well so apart from this everything was fine with this phone are uh, no issues and here and there the software issues are there for example uh, let me try to open one of the game so this is a game which supports the 120 fps uh, gameplay as well but right now the game uh, game space so right now you can see it's displaying the 120 fps on the top but as soon as the game opens the 120 fps will go come down to the 60 fps so as i said even though the game supports the top game space uh, notification bar is not working properly so it needs to uh, communicate with the game properly to uh, have this kind of uh, feature on the top so but right now it's only displaying only 60 fps throughout the time whenever i'm playing the game so which is really difficult for me to compare the uh, real-time fps with other uh, smartphones so maybe in the future the realme should be able to fix this kind of issue so uh, that's it friend these are the few uh, disadvantages which i did find in the realme x Exxon Pro smartphone and uh, regarding the Dimensity 1000 plus processor there is no disadvantage uh, with our processor so everything was working fine everything the games and uh, it, no eating issues at all while gaming so uh, these are the quick uh, top 5 disadvantages about this uh, smartphone and for more videos make sure to subscribe uh, to my channel friends so I take you and uh, thank you for watching this video see you in the next video friends until then bye